we will be learning how to fill the form as a head as a head and as a head you have a lot of role to play in these sensors so the, the best you can do is when you have issues you just follow on the videos that we have made on every step so the head have to first feel for the school the head has to first also upload the excel template onto the dashboard and the head has to also encourage every teacher to fill his or her data into the portal by them downloading the app and the head also in his power as a head should fill this part of the questionnaire and as you have seen this is having 11 11 modules so it means the head of the institution has a lot to do when it comes to these sensors and the success and the failure of this data submission depends largely on the head thank you so um this is what you are going to do we are going to go through this model then you fill and submit so the first one is under identification and institutions identification of institution so that's the general information about the school so i'm going to choose live data because it's not a training mode then i type the address of the school the data address the telephone number of the head then if there is any telephone number of the student, I type it. Then the telephone number, the head, then email, official email of the school, official email. If you have it, you type. Then you choose your management. So we have all management units. So if you are a private school, it means you choose private. If the management unit is Pentecost, LA or Presby, LA Methodist, you choose that but the one thing you should note is you have the difference between Methodist and LA Methodist so you have LA Methodist and when you screw up you have Methodist the same thing applies to Salvation Army Seventh Day but if you are just an LA then this is what you will choose if you are just an LA, this is what you are going to choose. This is what you are going to choose as an LA school. That's LA slash DA slash MA or a body operates. If you are an Islamic school, you choose that. But if you are a private school, then what you need to do is to fill. So that is then the fourth one it will review everything for you it will review every information that you have filled for you if you are done with that you move on to the second model which is out of the 11 which is general information and like you have sent in the excel template you fill that one also so is your school a gallop school if it is yes or no you choose which is a school having a cluster of schools. So when you talk of cluster of schools, you are referring to schools that have the same. So on the same school compound, we have two or three schools. That's what we mean by a cluster of schools. Then we have is your school involved in a multi-grade level. So multi-grade simple means we have two or three various levels like class 1, class 2, class 3, or class 1 and class 2. And they are being taught by a teacher. Then you choose yes or no for all this. So if it is yes, you choose. If it is no for your school, you do that. Then the next question is under governance and accreditation 
So, is your school and institution governed by the Board of Governors? Yes or no? Then is your school and institution governed by then is your school and institution governed by SMC that's and which other governance institution is your school having? Is your school inst or institution governed by other management you choose? How often does this management meet? You do that. This time around it's on your phone, it's not on paper. And it's this is to be done by the head teacher. Then the next one, school materials and equipment. So this comes in play with furniture. So the first part is furniture. Furniture by the school. And the second one is also furniture, which is writing places available. Then the next one, do your school have a school field? Very simple. Yes or no? Do you have a technical equipment? Is your school having a science lab? You fill all those information. Is your school having a community telephone community facility, which mostly we call information centers? Do your school have all those information? ICT lab, support system. Is your school having an e-library? You continue filling all this then how many of your teachers use open educational resources including digital content so this we are with teachers who go online to find educational resources or educational materials to learn it will be addressed with time how many of them then you have a review of everything you have a review of everything that you need to do the next one is under student and teacher textbook. So, um, so the various textbooks that you have. If in the case where you are not having any textbook on any subject, you just put zero there. You will see that there are some that are not required. So where there is no asterisk, you leave it. You leave that blank. But with the asterisk like English, if you are not having just put zero there because if you don't put zero it will not allow you to do your submission then it will review everything that you have done the next is under teacher that's non-teaching staff so if you have te other people who are non-teaching like accountants if you have a private school which you have administrators who are not teaching you can put their informations right here right here female attendants who take care of the kids or then the next one is under attendance no no the next one is under one time primary one enrollment so those who just came to primary one they did not move from kg or crutch to to primary one but those that you admitted to primary one you are going to fill this information for them so and you know you have taken their names by the enrollment by the excel sheet and it have helped you to know their various ages so how many of them fall under six years and they are newly and it goes on boys and girls 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 so that is for the head then the next one is under attendance and movement so how many have been transferred from other school to your school girls and boys that's kg1 kg2 p1 p2 p3 p4 how many are dropped out p1 p2 p3 p4 and they are required so in the case where you have students that or pupils that are dropped out in all the various levels you choose and you should know that the reason why it is only popping up to primary six is because from the beginning we chose that uh, the head teacher is a teacher from 
who did who had a school with with KG and that of primary. That's why you are not seeing JHS. So based on the model that you choose and the one that to take you to. Then the next one is are with repeaters, students or pupils who have been who have repeat their class, who have repeat their class or their level. So you indicate. In which if you are not having any information there, you only choose zero. You put zero because they are required field. The asterisk there tells you that it's a required field that you need to fill. Then the next one. It falls under attendance. So you pick your attendance register and you fill the attendance for the people. So for KG1 in the month of May. So in this, we are going to refer to the month of May to, to, to do this. So you go to May of this year and you pick the attendance and you fill for all the levels. All the levels. All the levels. Then, if you have mentees, you, you also do that. Then, male teachers who are trained to teach computer, that's basically computer skills. Then, if you want to move to the next arrow, you press the arrow at the top and it moves. It reviews everything for you, everything that you have done for you. And if you are okay, you click on submit. And the last one is with teacher movement. So, how many male staff or KG have been sick or transferred? How many male or female staff have been sick or transferred? Then teachers, that female teachers that are in KG who are going to maternity within the academic year. Then female teacher. And teachers who are engaged who are um, steady live with pay and steady live without pay and how many teachers are offering a course that are doing sandwich or distance when you are done with teacher movement you come to has any of your teacher left for retirement yes or no so you choose which of them yes or no then how many of them have gone on retirement male kg female that way primary male and has any teacher left based on ailment yes or no how many male teacher male staff in kindergarten has left the school for on illness for the past let me here we input the data there then how many male staff in primary has gone on event in their past academic year how many have left based on transfer they have moved from your school to another school and how many that's male and female all of them male and female male and female and how many teachers have been dismissed from school, how many male staff in the aging have been dismissed? So that's with dismissal, and that's with staff movement, the aging staff that have passed on. So we are going to even get the data of teachers that have passed on. That's teachers who are dead within the academic year. And has any teacher left based on? A different purpose which is not debt which is not transfer and which is no school then you indicate those informations as it is and you state the reason could be that they give you a reason then your involvement as a school male and female teachers who inculcate or acts HIV and reproductive health education into their teaching and do you treat HIV and reproductive health as a part of your learning? Then it comes to school.
school community pillar that is directed pillar manual do you have it and has your school established and communicated to students and teachers the rules and guidelines of the physical on stigmatization discrimination sexual harassment and abuse as your school provided life skills life-based skills on hiv yes or no these are all yes or no questions then you indicate the stakeholders that helps you to get those and if there is any you indicate if it is smc what do they help and how many times do they help and it reviews the information for you when you are done you click on submit click on submit click on submit that is when everything works well so in in short the head have to also fill ident identification in, of institution general information institutional infrastructure governance and accreditation building facility school school material and equipment students and teacher test book available non teaching staff information then primary one time enrollment those that you have enrolled one time they did not move to the grade so they don't move from kg to the then attendance a movement of teachers of pupils then staff movement so in all when the teacher has, have done this as a head, then it means you have played this portion. Mind you, the models like you have said, the teacher will fill this on her own by downloading the app and filling it. And the head will also do that as a teacher and will also fill for this, will upload the Excel sheet and will also create, make sure that every teacher under his or her jurisdiction should do and that is what it means um, i believe this video has helped i believe it has been very good as mr thank you very much and please enjoy your day and enjoy life i will for schools that did not take part in the census we are going to uh, there is also another video you can watch on how to create a school for yourself and how to log in